So now I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how we can loop any texture like this within Blender. <laughs> Tommaso, Mario, can you make it for me the noise salute? Sure, sure. I just did 10. No, 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 not in the noise flute, the noise salute. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Okay, I'm just going to cut the ball in there. It's just going to cut the ball. It's no, no, no. Not the noise, fruit. Yesterday I asked for you for the blue cheese, you are bringing me the piccanese. I asked for you for the fettuccine, you bring me the cold panini. Now I ask for you for the noise, so you are busy cutting the fruit. So this is what you're going to do. Divide your timeline up into four quarters. So go to the first frame and insert a keyframe for the W, that random factor over there. Go to the middle of your timeline, change that W factor, keyframe it, and then last frame again, invert it back to the first keyframe. Then copy those three keyframes, control C, control V, and you're going to have that select everything and move it from the middle of your timeline where, where you change the W value to the first quarter of your timeline. Then go back to the first frame and keyframe other values as they are. Go to the middle of your timeline, change those values, so which will be your scale, dimension, and lucanatority, whatever that is. Keyframe that, go to the last frame, and revert it back to the same first keyframes value. What, what that's gonna do is, while the W factor is reversing and stationary, all the other values are going to be moving, so you can't notice the actual loop. 